I'd like to welcome everyone once again to Alabaster Church of Christ worship service. Glad to have everyone and welcome everyone once again. And if we will, we continue to keep all the ones in our prayers that have lost loved ones. We keep the ones in our prayers that are sick and not feeling well. We just, uh, just keep them all in our prayers if we will. And again, welcome everyone to Alabaster Church of Christ uh, worship service. Today's lesson, church, is entitled Aging. That's the lesson today, church. And today's lesson is called Aging. I'll be reading a little from Psalm chapter 71, verses 18, and through the Bible a little bit. You go to Psalms chapter 71, verses 18, this was a prayer, the prayer for old age. Oh, that's what we're talking about today, church. We're talking about aging. Oh, ain't that something? Some folks, church, listen to me. Some folks, they're afraid to get a little old. Ain't that something? Folks, uh, getting old sometimes, it, it scares folks to death. Scared. Worried about getting old. Someone said, just keep on having birthdays and, and you'll be there one day. Folks so afraid of getting old uh, when they see a little gray hair, they get nervous. See a little gray hat and get upset. Scared to death. Just for a little gray hair on the head. So upset they, 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 you can't see, you can't keep just for men in the, in the store nowhere. Ain't that something? So you can dye your hair and you're still 60. Listen, you can dye your hair and you're still 80. You can dye your hair, you're still 45. No matter how you died, you're still there. Why not enjoy that, that your age? Ain't that something? Why not enjoy it? That's what I'm saying. Enjoy that gray hair. Enjoy you being blessed to get a little older. Don't be afraid of it. So what is aging, Brother Keith? See, aging within itself, church, is a process of growing or being older. That's what aging is. Aging is a process of being old. Growing old and older, or some folks like to say maturing. It's the old. There's some folks that still, just, they mature. Just call them what they are. They're old. It's a blessing. Enjoy it. Old age, listen, was regarded as a token of God's favor. Ain't that something? It was a token of God's favor. Talking about age in the day. See, growing old is, is, is normal, church. Do we know that? Growing old is, is normal. A natural part of life in this world. A natural part of life in this world. There is honor involved in the aging process. Did y'all hear me? There is honor involved in the aging process. Growing old is accomplished by increased wisdom and experience. Ain't that something? Wisdom and experience. See, gray hair, listen to me. Gray hair is a crown of splendor. 
free hell. Bible said it's a crown of splendor. It is obtained by what? A righteous life. Somebody said, I got this gray hair because of them children. Them children, I just look at my head. Just look. Ain't that something? Oh, ain't that, ain't that something? The Bible says, attained by a righteous life. Proverbs chapter 16, verses 31. See, Solomon provides a look at the aging. And the issues related to it. Who did I say? I said Solomon. Psalms chapter 71 verses 18. Listen church what the Bible say. He said now. Also he said when I'm old he said. And gray headed. He said, oh God, he said, forsake, he said, me not. Until I have shown my strength unto what? This, he said, generation. That's what he said. And thy power to everyone that is, he said, to come. According to Solomon. He said, now I'm old and my hair is gray, he said. He said, but I know that you won't leave me. He said, I know you won't leave me because just because of my hair is gray. He said, you won't leave me. He said, God, I will tell each new generation about your power, he said, and greatness. That's what he told them. And that was Psalm chapter 71, verses 18. Moving a little forward, the church. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 16. Listen what the Bible said. For which cause, he said, we faint not. But through our outward man perish, according to the Bible. He said, yet inward man, he said, is renewed, he said, day by day. Oh, that's what he's talking about. Day by day. He said, that is why we never become weak. Our physical body, he said, is becoming older, he said, and weaker. He said, but our spirit inside us is made new. How? Every day. According to the Bible. Moving right along, Proverbs chapter 20, verses 29. The Bible says in Proverbs 20 and 29, listen what it says. The glory of a young man is his strength. Ain't that something? The glory of a young man, the Bible says, is their strength. Older person would tell him, say, look at that boy, Yon. He don't need no help to pick that up. See, somebody would just watch him. But listen, one day he, he won't be able to do that. He's going to get a little older. The Bible said the glory of a young man, church, is their strength. But the beauty, listen, but the beauty of an old man is what? His gray head. His gray head, according to the Bible. Ain't that something? The beauty of an old man is his gray head. We admire a young man for his strength. They say we admire a young man. But we respect an old man for his gray hair. It shows he lived what? A full life. Shows that he lived, church, a full life. Titus chapter 2, verses 3. Listen what the Bible said. Now, we just talked about the age men. Now we'll talk about the age women. Ain't that something? Yes, sisters. You won't stay 18. Yes, sisters. You won't stay 35. Yes, sisters. You won't stay 45 either. 
And that's with the blessing, sisters. Yeah, you will, uh, you will reach, ain't you? Oh, ain't that something? Titus chapter 2, verses 3. Listen what the Bible said. The aged woman, listen, likewise. Likewise meaning just like the man. He said, likewise, that they be in behavior becoming what? Holiness. Not false accusers. Not giving much wine, teachers of what? Good things. We're talking about the age women. Teach old women to be holy in the way they live. Oh, ain't that something? Teach them not to speak against other people or to have habits of drinking too much wine. Those women should teach. What is good? We're talking about the old the women now. Yes, it's a blessing to get old. It's a blessing to have that gray hair. Old age, like I said before, was regarded as a token of God's favor. And I'm still talking about aging. Still talking about age in the day, church. How do you know, listen to me. How do you know when you're getting old? How? Someone said, when you don't care where your spouse goes. They said, that's how. You know when you're getting just a little old. Just as long as you don't have to go alone. Ain't that something? They said, that's how you can tell, church, when you're getting just a little old. Someone said, I've seen it all, done it all, and cannot remember most of it. That's what somebody said. Ain't that something? Someone said, also said that I'm on a 30-day diet. So far, I have lost 15 days. Ain't that something? That's when you can try to tell that. When you're getting, what? Just a little old. Psalm chapter 90, verses 10. Listen what the Bible say, church. Listen what it says. The Bible said, Psalm chapter 90, verses 10, listen. The days of our years are three score years and ten. Ain't that something? Three score years and ten. Now, we'll, just, we'll, we'll go down just a little bit further and I'll explain that also. The days of our years are three score years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow. For it is soon, the Bible said, cut off. And what? We fly away according to the Bible. We live, listen, Maybe 70 years. Now listen, three score and 10 is 70. One score is 20. Two scores is what? 40. Three scores is 60 plus 10 is 70 years. But listen, by chance, listen. He said that and if, and if we are strong, listen, maybe 80 years. That's four scores. 20 per score. Our lives are filled with hard work and pain. Then suddenly, the Bible said, our lives are finished. And we fly away. Ain't that something? He said you can live a little bit longer if, you were, if you're taking care of yourself. 
Someone said, if I known I was going to live a little this long, I would have took what? Better care of myself. That means you can live a little bit longer. Ain't that something? By eating right. Oh, ain't that something? By walking just a little bit. Exercising just a little bit. Don't be that couch potato. Ain't that something? By taking care of herself. Ain't nothing wrong with walking. Nothing wrong with exercise and breaking a sweat. Some folks say I, I break a sweat when I'm eating. They ain't talking about that. Oh, ain't that something? Nothing wrong with taking care of yourself. Doing something. Nothing wrong with it. Some folks say it's COVID out there. I can't walk. You weren't walking before COVID. Start something. It's a new year. Do better. Try to do right. So we can get that life that he promised to us. Church, we must understand he, he promised us three score and ten, at least seventy. Promised that to us. To each and every one of us. It was a promise that you could live to be at least 70. Then he gave you another score just by taking care of yourself. Boy, ain't that something? Moving right along. 1 Timothy chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. Listen what the Bible said. The Bible said, rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a what? As a father. And the young man as what? Brethren. The elder woman as what? Mothers. And the younger as sisters with all purity. Don't speak angrily to an older man. But talk with him like he was your father. How many folk you see disrespecting the dad? How many folks you see disrespecting the mother? Boy, ain't that something? Treat the younger men like brothers. Treat the older women like mothers. And treat the younger women with respect. Like what? Like sisters. Talking about church. Talking about age. Second Samuel chapter 19, verses 32 through 35. Now Brazella was an aged man. Even four score years old, and we just talked about that. Four score years old meaning he was what? 80 years old. And he provided the king substance while he lay at Menahem. For he was a very, the Bible said, great man. And the king said unto Bezali, Come thou over, he said, with me. And I will be thee with me in where? Jerusalem. And Bezali said unto the king, How long, he said, have I to live? He said, How long have I to live? That I should go up to the king, he said, Well, up unto Jerusalem. I am this day, he said, I'm four score years old and can discern between good and evil. Can thy servant taste, listen, what I eat and what I drink? He said, can I hear anymore? Remember now, he's 80 years old or, or four score. He said, what? Well, can I hear anymore? The voice of singing men and singing women. He said, can I hear that? Wherefore, 
Then should thy servant be yet burdened unto the Lord, unto my Lord, the king. Ain't that something? Understand he was 80. He had given the food for other things when David was staying in Manilium. Brazali could do this because he was very, he was a very what? The Bible said rich man. David said to him, he said, come across the river with me. He said, I would take care of you if you live well in Jerusalem. He said, I'll take care of you. That's what he told him. He said, but, but, but he said, but Brazala said to the king, do you know how old I am? Ain't that something? Do you think I can go with you to Jerusalem? He said, I am 80 years old, and I am too old to tell which is bad and which is good. That's what he told him. He said, I am too old, he said, to taste the things I eat or to drink. He said, I'm too old to, to just to hear anymore. He said, the voices of men and women. That say, why should I want? He said, why should you want to be bothered with me? I can't, I, I said, I can't do those things anymore. He said, I got to be 80. Tells us, church, just because we reach 80 for a score doesn't mean that's the end. Ain't that something? Just because you reach that certain age or that four score doesn't mean that that's the end of life. Some folks in the world today is over 100 years old. Ain't that something? Doesn't mean the end. Psalm chapter 37, verses 25. Listen what the Bible say, church. The Bible said that David was talking. He said, I have been young, he said. He said, but now I'm old. Yet I have not seen the righteous, he said, forsaken. That's what he said, David said. He said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. He said, no, his seed, he said, begging bread. Oh, that's what David said. I was young, now I'm old. I have never seen God abandon, listen, good children. That's what he said. I never seen what? Good people, children begging for bread. And that's important. Very, very important. Moving right along, church. Still talking about Aging or getting older. Job chapter 32, verses 6 through 9. Job 32, 6 through 9. Listen, Elihu, remember, he begins to talk. He begins to talk. Elihu now, remember, begins to talk, church. Job 32, 6 through 9. Listen what Elihu said. And Elihu, the son of a Rachel, a Buzzite, answered and said, he said, I am young. Talking about respect. Listen, he said, I am young. And you are what? Very old. Wherefore, he said, what? I was afraid. And thus not show my what? My own opinion. He said, I said, Days I should speak, and the multitude of years should what? Teach wisdom. But there was a spirit in a man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giving them understanding. He said that great men are not always wise. That's what he said. Neither do the age understand judgment. And he said to them, 
I am much younger, he said, than you. So I have shown respect by keeping what? By keeping silent. That's an example he said. Respecting the elders. Ain't that something? I once believed age was source of wisdom. Now I truly realize wisdom comes from what? Come from God. That's how wisdom. That's how wisdom comes. It comes from God. Age is no guarantee of wisdom and understanding. Oh, ain't that something? We just read Job chapter 32, verses 6 through 9. Still talking about church. Still talking about age. Coming down towards the end of the lesson today. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verses 1 through 7. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verses 1 through 7. Listen what the Bible says. So remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Remember, say it. While the days are the evil days come not, nor the years, he said, draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure, listen, in them. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return, what? After rain. In the days when the keepers of the house, listen, shall tremble. The keepers, listen, of the house, the Bible say, shall tremble. I mean, you're going to tremble a little bit as you get older. Oh, ain't that something? And the strong men shall what bold themselves. And the gird of seas because they are few. And those that look out the windows be darkened. And the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grind in the Bible said is low. And he shall rise up the voice of the birds and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. And when all, and when they shall be afraid of that which is what? Which is high. And the field shall be in the way and the almond trees shall what? Flourish. And the grasshopper shall be a burden and desire, listen, and desire shall what? Shall fail. Because man goeth go it to his what? To his low home. And the mourners go about the streets, the Bible said, and over the silver cord be loosed. Or the golden bowl, he said, be broken. Or the pitcher be broken. At the fountain, according to the Bible, are the wheel broken at the cistern. Then shall the dust, listen, church. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. And the spirit shall return unto God who what? Gave it. The spirit. Turn to God. Listen, church. Who gave it? Keep your creator in mind while you are young. In years to come, you will be burdened with down, burdened down with troubles and say, I don't enjoy what? Life anymore. Someday the light of the sun and the moon and the stars will all seem to be dim. Listen. To you. Rain clouds will remain over your head. Your body will grow, listen, your body will grow feeble. Your teeth will decay. Oh, ain't that something? Your eyesight will fail. The noisy grind of grain will be shut out by your deaf ears. But even the songs of a bird will keep you awake. You will be afraid to climb up a hill or walk down a road. 
your hair will turn as white as almond blossoms. You will feel lifeless and drag alone like an old grasshopper. We each go to our eternal home. And the streets are filled with those who what? Who mourn. The silver cord snaps. The golden bowl breaks. The water pitcher is smashed. And the pulley at the well is shattered. So our bodies return where? To the earth. And our life-giving breath returns to God. Listen, the breath returns to God. Our bodies return to the earth. Church, that concluded the lesson today. Entitled Aging. Church, there's a blessing in getting old. Church, that's a blessing in getting old. Why not be, don't be afraid of getting old. It is a blessing. I think that's something. Don't be ashamed of getting older. It's a, it's a blessing. I think that's something. Church, and again, I hope today that we can surely understand there's a blessing in the aging and growing older process. Listen, there's a wonderful blessing within that. Oh, ain't that something? Now, for the ones that would like to become a Christian, there are five things you must do to become a Christian today. First, you must hear the word. Romans 10, 14. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Romans 10, 14. Next, you must believe. Believe what you have heard. Hebrews 11, 6. The Bible said, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. But he that cometh to God must believe that he is and he is a reward of them that what diligently seek him. Hebrews 11, 6. Next, you must repent. Repent means to change. Have another mind in respect to sin. Acts 17, 30. The Bible said at the time of this ignorance, God winked. But now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Church, he is not overlooking it anymore. Each and every one of us must repent, meaning change. Next, you must confess. Confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Acts chapter 8, verses 36 and 37. Bring it down to Philip and the eunuch. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water. And the eunuch said, see, here's water. What does hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, if thou believe it, with all thine heart, they may it. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Oh, we must believe. Next, you must be baptized. Down into the water, all who believe in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 2, verses 38. And Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Baptized. A Greek word meaning immerse, they'll bear a person well underwater. Someone may ask, how do I contact the blood? You 
contact the blood by going down into the water. And again, church, that's the lesson. Again, I hope I said something that will help each and every one of us go closer and closer to thee. And let us go into a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us to have this sermon today. Father, we hope and pray that was something said that will help each and every one of us grow closer closer to thee. Father, we ask you to continue to keep your hand above each and every person that's not feeling well. Father, we ask you to return all of those people back to their normal health and strength, if it be thy will. Father, we ask you to continue to stand by the one that have lost loved ones. We ask you to stand by those families and build them up, Father, so weak, torn, and broken hearted. Father, we continue to ask you to continue to be with the scientists and the doctors, technicians. Father, we thank you for allowing them to find a vaccine. Father, we ask you to continue to help them so they can get it distributed throughout this land and country. Father, we ask you to just to, to continue to be with them and keeping them all safe. Father, we continue to pray for our new administration. We continue to pray for the president of this United States, vice president, all the ones there. Father, we ask you to keep each and every one of them safe. Father, we continue to pray that they lead the country in a manner would not hinder the gospel. Father, we ask you to continue to keep your hand above all the churches throughout this land and country. Father, I continue to pray that we teach and preach the same thing so there would not be any divisions in your church. Father, we ask you to be with this church. We ask you to be with the, each and every member here and keep each and every one of them safe. Let them continue to be in the light that set up on the hill that all the people can see the work that they're doing. Father, let them set the example for the ones to follow. And Father, not only this church, we ask you to watch over all others. And these mother blessings in Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.